hi guys welcome to the next video of the stress 2 tutorial series in this video we will quickly see what wildcard mapping is and how we can apply it for our action elements it is generally used for enterprise level applications where you might have so many action elements that it makes the struts.xml file difficult to read so stress 2 has provided one approach where we can eliminate writing so many action elements for actions that look pretty similar or have some similar kind of patterns for example suppose in our hello world application here we want to have one more action hello universe so we have we already have one action hello world we want to have one more action hello universe Action name is Hello Universe. Class name is Hello Universe Action. And result name is Hello Universe.jsp. So you can see that both the action elements have similar pattern of names in their actions and the class and the result only thing is changing this wor word instead of world this action is using universe okay. so there is a possibility here of using wildcard for this word what we will do we will try to match that word from the URL using wildcard characters and then use that word for our action name and for, for our class and for our result so let's create one more action element which will be a generic action and and which we will use instead of these two action elements hello star which will match this this word so it, it could be the world or universe it will match any of the things after hello Now to use the word which was matched here, we have to use it in curly brace and the index, index of the matched word. Many things are same. We just copy here. Here also we should use curly brace 1. Now the question is what is this curly brace 1 signify? What is its use? Now this curly brace 1 denotes the position of the URL which is matched. So if we are trying to match two, two things from the URL like star hello star then we'll have two, two indexes 1 and 2. One will contain the first matched word while the two will contain the second match word. Now we can comment out the above two actions. We'll remove and we'll create an action class. hello universe action this is a best practice to extend from the action support class that's why I'm doing it
we'll have one hello method we will just have one sys out this is out and return success okay so hello world action class also has one hello method and it has one sys out inside hello world action class hello universe action has one sys out hello inside hello universe action okay now we need to create one hello universe dot jsp here Okay, now if we test hello world from our URL, then our action will become hello world and the class will become hello world action and the result will become hello world.gsp. Similarly, if we test hello universe, then the class will become hello universe action and the result will become hello universe.gsp. Okay, now let's test it. Let's run it on the server. Okay, first test using the hello world action world okay so we are able to get the sys out from the hello world action class and we are able to get the hello world.gsp from our generic action element okay now let's change the url to hit the hello universe Okay, so this time we are able to get the sys out from the hello universe action class and we are able to get the view from the hello universe.gsp file. So our generic action element with a wildcard mapping is working fine and it is actually looking cleaner. So this is the way we can eliminate action elements of similar pattern by using wildcard matching and we can make our stress.xml file little cleaner. This is it for this video. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.